All right, so let's get right into it. It's your boy Friday, Ricky Dredd, and this is news from the six where we hit you with that real Toronto shit. And in the news today, Grunge TV announces that they will be having their season finale to their Toronto gang profiles, as well as the last profile will be the last one that they just posted a couple of days ago. Also in news, Everyday Struggle announces that it will be ending coming up December 17th and academics will be launching a podcast in the beginning of 2021. We have all of that, plus the new music videos from this week for you to choose from. And we need you, the people, to let us know who is going to be the number one video. But before we do that, I need you to please subscribe, hit that subscription button below, as well as the notification bell next to it so you know when we're dropping new videos. And we drop new videos on our channel every single day, sometimes three, four times a day. But let's get to these music videos. And like I said, we need you to let us know who is going to be the number one music video this week. So let us know in the comment gang, in the comment section below, comment gang squong, who is your favorite rapper or favorite artist or what is your favorite song on the list? We'll be tabulating the list and letting you know on Thursday morning, as usual, on the world's most smoked out podcast, who is going to be the number one video in Canada. All right, so we're depending on you, comic gang scrong. So let's get to it. New Canadian music video releases and then let's get to the news. Let's go. She says she's stripping, trying to pay the rent. She gets some money, it's already so. If you wanna leave up in the bar, what you need? Got the glizzy in the box, got the lock, BLM. Hey, you know that I'm a running back. They was tripping, they was asking where the samples at. Stay consistent on these calls. I was in a really hot, trapping real hot, and I said, really hot. I said, feel the Gucci side back. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you're I promise my family, so I'ma deliver This shit ain't a joke to me, niggas be rapping And I'll make your revenue, nobody telling you guys Heard he talking to my mans and the bullets going quick like a race If I tell him to shoot, then my nigga gon' shoot probably leave. They do this, controlling my dreams so when nigga live lucid Ain't never no Cupid, no love in the streets cause the six Smoke it inside the cookies, yeah they face Watch the eye, had to switch spots, the block got too hot Ma rap les trips sur ma tête, parce que je pensais devenir legit. Tellement qu'elle veut me ravoir et t'as les refs. For the place inside my soul, haven't had the time to think. I used to think that life was better through designer frames. I stay chillin', been there, done that. Get it all day, automatically, fantastically. Just à cause de tout ce que le mot noir représente. Des histoires répugnantes, des adultes qui abusent des enfants. Appear like my jack. She is savage, like Megan the Stallion. She won the. I don't need no damn help. Nope. Did it by my damn self. Yep. Trying to pull them out. Now, first in news, Grunge TV announces the season finale for their Toronto Gang Profile series. Now, their last profile was covered on the Toronto Gang's profile, um, 10 Down Mob, that dropped November 28th. Now, the profile has been very informative and chocked full of information on what's going on in the Toronto scene with the different rappers and the different gangs that have been going on over the scene over the last few decades around here. All right. Now, Grunge TV and other channels like this have been accused from time to time of getting their facts or not getting all their facts straight as well as being the boy them but personally i do not agree with that they also had to deal with issues with rappers like top five um, in regards to having content removed from their page of which i can also relate to when it comes to other artists now, in the end of the day, shout out to Grunge TV, as well as Mind Soul 6, Keep 6 Live, and all the other blog channels that are in the YouTube space that are out there trying to keep the fans informed on what's going on in the Toronto scene, whether you're here in Toronto or fans outside of, the, uh, outside of Toronto, you know, across Canada or in the United States, Europe and other places. Okay, a lot of these things or a lot of these channels have been really great hubs for people to be able to find out what's going on in the scene up north because it's obvious that a lot of people are really interested in Toronto as being the new hub for hot music. So shout out to all of them and hopefully we'll be seeing more and more content to come in 2021. Next story. Now in our next story, Everyday Struggle will be ending Thursday, December 17th, 2020. Now, they made an announcement on the Everyday Struggle show hosted by Nadeska Alexis as well as Wayno. 
and academics. And academics also made the announcement via his Twitch page as well as his IG Live, announcing that he will be leaving Everyday Struggle as well as Everyday Struggle the show ending on complex in completion. Now, academics explains in his streams that the, the, him and complex were moving in a different direction, let's say, and apparently the decision was made about a month ago, but complex did not have a press release due to the host Nadeska requesting that they let them make the announcement themselves on the show. So from Academics' commentary in his live stream, it seems that they have been having a conflict of interest when it comes to brands. Um, some is based off of the, the commentary that he had on John Legend's wife, Chrissy Teigen, a few months ago, when he started having that little bit of a beef back and forward with um, rappers like Freddie Gibbs, and it kind of spun out of control. And, you know, as well as a few other rants and different posts that Academics has um, been having over the past few months. Um, from my assessment, I think that academics as a brand is a little bit too raw for Complex. And after a while, with them knocking on his door every second saying, hey, can you fix that? Can you change that? They decided to part ways. So yeah, just a quick update on this academics and Complex story. You know, as the news is constantly moving quick, you know what I mean? I want to make sure to give you all a quick update on what's going on here. Salute to Star and the Star Report, the objective perspective. You know what I mean? He put me on to the science um, through his show that academic was actually fired from Complex. So at the time when I was doing the news story, I wasn't aware that he was actually fired. But I'm going to insert this in so that the people know continuing in this new story that you're watching right now that the reason that academics has parted ways with everyday with um complex and everyday struggle is now completely over is because of the fact that he was fired r.i.p um academics career over at complex Okay, now Everyday Struggle has been to me a pretty big staple in the hip hop scene for over the last three years. For the people who've been following Everyday Struggle from the beginning, if you remember, they started off with Academics, Nadeska, and Joe Button. Okay, it was a great show with the three of them, great chemistry. Joe Button was a little bit, um, a little bit too, I guess. I don't want to say out of control, but a little bit too raw for Complex, and they decided to part ways about nine months after the show started, okay? They started to, they tried to get a few replacements in between, okay? They had Wayno who used to pop up every once in a while. They tried to get Star from the Star, um, the Star Report to be on the show for a little while, but that didn't work out, and then eventually they worked it out with just having the Deska, Academics, and Wayno. And over the last two years, they've been able to build a great chemistry They've been a great source for what's going on in the scene here, their reactions to what's going on, as well as keeping people up to date about what's going on in the hip hop scene, as well as having a lot of great interviews and moments. So they're definitely going to be missed um, in the YouTube space, as well as in the hip hop space in completion. But all three of them, like they've explained in, in, in their own lives or in their own social media platforms, have their own different things going on and they'll be fine. All right. So shout out to academics, you know, in contrary to what a lot of people believe, I will give a shout out to academics because I have no beef with him and I wish him all the best. And it's really, really good to be able to see a YouTuber, a blogger rise from being able to just do things in his mom's crib to being able to buy his mom a crib. All right. So a lot of y'all out there can take a lesson from that. But that's all we got today for news, okay? Not a lot of news going on, but that was a really big deal that I, I felt that we had to cover because sooner or later, you're gonna be missing getting that four days a week of at least 30, 40 minutes to an hour of content from those guys or over at the Complex channel. And we're gonna be able to see what is going to be going on with Complex moving forward, all right? Let me know as well from the music video montage that we showed before, who you think should be the number one video in Canada this week, all right? Like I said, we'll be tabulating all the votes and letting you know on Thursday morning in the audios on all streaming platforms who is going to be the number one video in Canada, all right? Make sure to follow me on all social media platforms at Friday Ricky Dread, that's D R E D, and make sure to hit us up on Instagram at We Love Hip Hop Network and on Twitter, We Love Hip Hop TO. That's all I got. This is News from the Six, where we hit you with that real Toronto heat. And I'm out. Peace.